Hi guys, Cindy here. So today, what we're going to do is, let's see if we can find this real quick. We are going to recreate the best that we can this set here. Can you see it? Um, it didn't look too hard and I wanted to do it. I don't know, I put little yellow line, rhinestones instead of hearts. Uh, I didn't look for any hearts. I might have had some hearts, but they wouldn't have been gold. They would have been a color, a neon color. So just use little yellow rhinestones. And it looks like they just use foil and matte polish and glossy polish. And I have all those. So let's give it a try. I've already started it partly to save time and another part so I wouldn't get confused of which nails I had worked on. And I'm using um, my Gel X medium natural coffin because I plan on wearing these next week to work so and ignore this finger I took it off because it was bothering me it was hurting so I'm letting it rest I'm hoping tomorrow morning I'll be able to put a nail on it um but if not I'll just look all ghetto with a nail missing, but we got to get this healed up. I think, um, you know, it's been sore a while anyway, and I think this business, all that business with the gel the other day, I think it got it irritated or something. So we're letting it rest, and um, but I'm hoping I can put one on uh, tomorrow. Maybe I'll like wear one during the day and pull it off and let it rest at night and then uh, put it on the next day for a few days. But if not, we'll just go without it didn't really matter uh because i was at home before so anyway so this is what i got done so far i picked out my nails um these are matte the solid ones are matte these and um let me show you the products that i use i just used sally hansen's this came in a little french manicure kit i got off ulta and the color is called nearly nude beige transparent and it's got a couple coats on each nail and uh, then i also used on the one that's half clear i used um this clear base coat because i've noticed the gel doesn't want to stick as good whenever you just stick it on a plain nail with nothing underneath it so we put base coat underneath it and then i used my favorite star glue because I don't need a lamp or anything and it you know I think probably what happened was you know I had trouble with those rhinestones and I probably was touching the the gel or something I don't know or it's just anyway it just needs to heal so probably a few days or whatever of no nail it'll be good and you know I'm supposed to have surgery on the 11th I'm hoping I'm praying I get to uh, go early so if you guys could help me pray about that that would be a great thing and so then i've used some matte top coat on the matte ones this is opi i picked this up at um ulta you can probably get it anywhere they sell opi and after i get the full on i'm gonna probably use one or two coats of this to help it probably two coats because um because one coat, it just chips real easy. Like, of course, you can't really tell about this. And oh, I have enjoyed my little edge nails. I like them. Next time I'm gonna do something different, I thought, cause this one, anyway, I'm not gonna tell what. I'll just wait till we make a video and do it. And I've got a surprise. I've got some different nails ordered, so we're gonna try those. We just like all kinds of nails, okay? So I don't know where I was. Now I've never heard of these. Up here at my little mall in Joplin, um, all they do is like little white tips or, or something. And there are a whole lot of nail salons, but I've never seen anything but white tips or maybe a solid color. No one does any kind of designer nails or anything like that. So I do have the glue on here. So let's pick out our foils. Looks like the person that did those just used these designer foils and it looks like they use these or they could have used the others um let's see which one's going to go best we got some if we want to do the let me look at that real quick again see if we think it's the gold or the brown 
So, uh oh. So this is the picture, and I really can't tell whether they use gold or the brown, and I don't guess it really matters. Um, I do have these little yellow things. They would probably go better with the gold. Let's just use gold, because I like gold anyway. Oh, I forgot my silicone stick. Hold on just one second. Okay, I'm back. It's just, you know, a few steps away. And let's hope that I get this on the right side, too. So it looked like we've got this solid one and these two half nails on here. And then we've got another solid one and two half nails on the other one. So, and so we want to see if you go up. So, let's see. PG, I don't guess there's a right or wrong way to do that. We'll just do it this way. These clear ones are easier to see. I like that. And then the little half nails. It look, um, the glue did not go all the way down. It did kind of hit a little bit of the beige, but not all the way. So let's see how this looks. And what I'll do is, uh, probably in a little while, I'll take, I'll go ahead and take these nails off, but it'll be a little bit before I get my thumbnail. So I don't know. I might hold this video and post it, or I might go ahead and upload it and then throw my thumbnail up later. And I think that that was an ad. They have a lot of recommended posts because I'm really not following that many people on Instagram. But I think that's one of those recommended posts. So. <gasps> there, that's pretty. Seems like we did it this way again. Uh oh. So anyway, let's try this. I'm probably wasting time, I'm not being conservative enough, but that's okay. I'd rather do that than have a bad nail. So anyway, there was this chick, uh, I think it's Mika. She came up on my recommended list on my YouTube. I'm just taking it easy. I used to sit and program and try to learn new things on my time off. But here lately, since we, you know, I've just been resting. You know, I don't need to get a virus, any kind of virus, flu, cold, anything, or the other one. And so I've just been resting and doing nails and piddling around because, like, you know, I'm 60 years old. I'm fixing to be in a couple weeks. And, um... I don't, I'm not in the mood to start a new career or try to figure out something new to do. Isn't that pretty? So we're just going to play, do the fake walk. So it looks like it's kind of cut off there, but too bad, so sad. I don't know if theirs did or not. It probably did. They probably did the same thing I did. Although they were selling theirs. I have no idea about the price. So potentially they could have made more of an effort to line it up so but even if i thought i knew exactly where the other one was i still wouldn't be exact anyway back to my story now this is not a real official story time because i don't know the details I think her name was Mika. She had posted, it was a live feed, which I'm surprised they did it. Anytime I've tried to do a live feed, uh, YouTube just kind of cut me off a lot. So maybe they were just bored with me. I don't know. But she was just doing someone's nails. And um, anyway, um, she had in the 
hitting about how two, someone came in with $200 to spend on a field. Now, granted, they were long nails and they were acrylic nails, but I'm just like, I just posted, you know, there wasn't very many people watching about seven or eight, which is more people than watch my live feeds when I tried to do them. But um, I just posted that's quite a bit for a field. I was, they charge like $15 at the mall. Granted, they're not that great at the mall, but still, you know, you know, I could see for what she was getting, and the lady was real super slow, too. And it depends, too. I did not see the beginning of it. If she had had to file a whole lot off, you know, and start from scratch, maybe. But they were kind of long, maybe as long as these little nails, and they were acrylic. Um, they weren't, you know, tips, I don't think. Uh, of course, but it was just a fill. And then she was um, decorating them, but when she was, so we're talking 200, and by the time I'd been there, just to do the fill part, she'd been there about an hour, which those uh, Asian ladies in the mall, which I do let them do my feet, which I need to have it done, but I don't want to go to any place right now. I don't want to pick up a virus right now. And so I've not gone to the mall. Um, but anyway, they're just a few minutes, maybe 15, and then they'll paint them, you know, 30 minutes tops. Uh, but anyway, so she had done that fill. It took about an hour, and it was acrylic. It wasn't, you know, press on like I do. And I do understand that acrylics are work. And um, then she was, oh, she looked like so far, I don't know what all that she's going to do. I might go back in a little bit and see what else. I'm missing, but she was just putting a little bit of foil on. Granted, she did take time and get all the foil in a diagonal, and she's just using this like LV foil, like I've got here in this box, and I've even done a video with some, and so we know that didn't cost hardly nothing, but she was putting on some rhinestones that, you know, just come from Amazon or AliExpress or something, and granted, I can testify that that is work. I do understand. She was putting like a, a row of rhinestones on each diagonal. And so like, yeah, that wouldn't be no fun. Although it's, to me, it's be better than trying to <laughs> draw out a 2021 like I did. But yeah, so I, she would she took offense. I posted that that was kind of high. And then someone else chimed in that, yeah, it is kind of high. And then she took offense and she was commenting while she was working on the nails about, you know, she supposed to know your, uh-oh know your words. So I posted, you know, I'm not an nail tech. No, I'm just, I was just saying that's what they did. I need another sticky there. I'll have to do that for the next set. Did that not come off? Did I get the wrong side? I might have. Hold on a second. Let's tell this again. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this dumb thing off and put another little sticky tab on here before I try this. This is too cumbersome to try to do this just on a raw nail with nothing to hold on to. Hold on a second. Now, if I wasn't on the camera trying to get this done, I'd have that thing whipped out in a second. There it is. So. There's some little tacky things came with these little stands and I threw those out. That was nasty to me. I'd rather have these. And the tacky things don't last any longer. They are just nasty looking though. And then I saw someone in Vanity Fowl. She, all her little stickers come off, which I use these things, not stickers, magnets come off. I use these things to hold those magnets on too. And she had all that tacky glue there, or tacky stuff, and that was nasty too looking. We can get that off. There we go. Now then, let's see if we can find the right side of the 
glue now. Ooh. That wasn't no good. Now I've got paper towel stuck. So what I'm probably gonna do is try to fix this one. Scrap that off and put some more glue on. And this here. Okay, I was afraid that was the outside. I'm gonna scratch that off. And then, cause I don't feel like doing another now. Anyway, so I'm gonna put some more glue on and work on that off camera when we're done. See if we can get that scratched off. Cause I got some paper towel on there. I may have to end up redoing this now. We'll see. We will see. Anyway, we'll do that now. And okay, here we go. Now I have no idea which is front and which is back. We're gonna try this again. I'm probably gonna redo that one now. But we'll say I might, anyway, we'll just have to say we're not going to do it now on camera because it's not going to dry in a minute. Let's see what happens here. <gasps> I did it again, but this time we're not going to drop it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try this way. See that some of these foils, you cannot tell one way or the other. There we go. Anyway, so let me cut this off and I'll have it for whenever I go to do better now. And we will top coat these. Go. Put this back in the box. And I have no idea what side is right and what side is wrong. We will find out next time we go to use it. Let's look at this. Yeah, we're gonna redo that one. So, but we will talk. Let's go ahead and just throw that away. Which one number was this? Okay, I think this is a three. Because I dropped it and it hit that paper towel. I keep a rubber band around my um, nails because more I've dropped some and it's no fun. So most of the ones I've dropped, I've just decided that I was gonna just give to the little girls, but they was nails I didn't like anyway. If it was nails I really liked, well, no. Some came out the other day in the drawer. I even bought some little containers to store them and I saw, I thought, oh, I don't need these rubber bands now because I'm not going to drop them because I'd been dropping them trying to dig them out of that closet. And sure enough, I didn't get it latched good. And there we go. And it opened up. It wasn't quite as bad as falling on the floor, but there's a whole lot out of order. So, just the way it is. So how I did that was, now you get to see how I did this. I 
I did a tom coat just because, like I said, I don't think that, whatever, I just did. <laughs> and then I did a couple coats of this. Good enough. I'll put another coat. Okay, now then, in a little bit, what I will do, I'll put another top coat on and another coat of, of glue, and then I'll put the full on. So, well, let's go ahead and top coat these others. So these are matte coated. I put two matte coats on there because I put the matte coat and then I put some glue and that little thing on and it left a little ring. So I thought, oh, well, I'm going to do another matte coat, which I guess it helped a little bit, but it's still, um, you can kind of still see where I put super glue. Oh, and that lady that was doing the nails, she got really irritated. When we said that about $15. She was talking about know your worth and everything. And so then she thanked all the black women that came out and support her, which I would have said that to anyone. I mean, she don't know that I'm not black. She, I mean, all she's got is my profile picture. But anyway, so this is what we got, except I got to redo this other one here in a little bit. So I will see y'all later. Um, I'm going to upload this and I'm going to take a thumbnail after I get these off and I have liked these but you know they got to come off I can't wear them to work so and I'll see y'all later bye-bye